To the observation deck, it's 86 floors and 1,576 steps. The annual Empire State Building run-up, presented by Marmot, with the Challenged Athletes Foundation, the official charity partner. Uh, just try and take it not too fast, the first 20 floors, and then try and get into a rhythm. I'd to dearly love to get another win, so um, I'll just try, try my best. The elite fields are off first. A start in the lobby, then the squeeze through the door to get access to the stairs. Once you're on the stairs, it's difficult to pass, so a sprint to the door is essential if you want to be a factor on the podium. The Challenge Athletes Foundation has a long and illustrious history of bringing their important mission to the major events of the world. It's the mission of the Challenge Athletes Foundation to provide opportunities and support to people with physical disabilities. The enthusiasm is sky high. Everybody is so pumped and ready and got a great team of challenged athletes and fundraisers. So really excited to get this event going. Susie Walsham dominates the competition and struts to her sixth Empire victory. Back at ground level, the Marmot team leaves every five seconds, ensuring an orderly ascent. Easy to be frisky now. You'll see in 15 minutes. A scramble on the final flight in the men's competition, passing one of the elite women. The pulse rate, 100% maxed. The adventurous lifestyle that these folks live. Uh, all over the world, they're coming in and they're doing this race, running the Empire State Building in 10 to 12 minutes. It's pretty crazy, and Marmot's all about adventure, whether it's indoor or outdoor. That's what we live for, and that's why we call Marmot for Life. The Empire State Building run-up, presented by Marmot, benefiting the Challenge Athletes Foundation. The efforts of these adventurers will help others begin their upward journey.